Hey, just take a look at this damage against an unstunned champion. I think Peacekeepers are now the lucky pants for Titans. Today, we're testing every single exotic SMG with the newly buffed Peacekeepers. You can skip to whatever exotic you want to see with the timestamps below. Peacekeepers got a substantial buff with Episode Revenant. Dealing damage to combatants with an SMG increases SMG damage for a short time. Maximum of 20 stacks lasts for one second, and each hit adds a stack and refreshes the timer. So I shoot this enemy, gain one stack, after one second it goes away. You keep consistent damage though and you can get up to 20 stacks. That is a massive 2 times damage bonus for just simply shooting your gun. What makes this exotic buff so good is that there's no cooldown. It's just permanent free damage for firing your SMG. If I were to quantify its strength in low to mid tier content, nothing stands a chance against this exotic. In high tier content, it's like having an infinite ammo special weapon. We're gonna find out which SMG can get up to 4 times damage in this video, and the answer might surprise you. We're gonna begin with Terraba, which also got a buff in Revenant. It now has 50% solar damage resist while Ravenous Beast is active. So, the base headshot damage here is 1728, with Ravenous Beast active it's 2861, which is 1.65 times the base damage. If we take a look at the damage with just PK at 20 stacks, the damage is 3455, 2 times the base. Now, if we combine Ravenous Beast with Peacekeepers, the max damage we can hit is 5721. That number is 3.31 times more than the base headshot damage. Since Terraba has 30 rounds in the mag, you can get off 10 shots total in a row with that max damage buff. As you can see in the footage, Terraba goes crazy not only against high health single targets, but also for just clearing out groups of enemies. Going into this season, I thought Terraba was going to be the best exotic to pair with Peacekeepers, but I may have been proven wrong with this next exotic. The next exotic we're testing is Manticore. The base headshot damage is 1451. Now, Manticore's exotic perk actually allows it to get two times the base on its own. Dealing damage while airborne increases this weapon's damage output. After shooting in the air for a while, you get to 2902. The best part about this exotic though is thanks to its catalyst, uh, making it reload itself simply by dealing damage while airborne. If we pair the Manticore exotic perk with the Peacekeeper's damage buff, the max damage we can get up to is 5803. That is four times the base headshot damage. So this begs the question, which exotic is better to pair with Peacekeepers, Teraba or Manticore? Well, I think it depends really on the situation. You see, while Manticore can reach higher damage numbers, when I tested damage Damage on this dungeon boss, Terraba got up to 905,000 damage on its own, while Manticore got up to just 593,000 damage on its own. So I think Terraba is the easier gun to set up and use, while Manticore is the exotic that can take advantage most of Peacekeeper's damage buff. If you're slaying out enemies in the air with Manticore, it can be a long time before you have to reload. And if you're keeping consistent damage, you'll get off dozens of shots in a row with that 2 times Peacekeeper's damage buff. So overall, they're both amazing options. I've been having a lot of fun with both, and I'll probably be switching back and forth between them in different pieces of content. The next exotic SMG is Risk Runner. This one is interesting because thanks to Arc Conductor, you can fire infinitely for 5 seconds. This means you get to take advantage of that 2 times Peacekeeper damage buff for all those additional seconds. The base headshot damage here is 1379. The max damage with PK is 3035. Now I tried to test to see if the arc chains from Arc Conductor would build towards the Peacekeeper stacks. I also couldn't tell if the chain lightning gained the bonus damage from PKs, but I'm pretty sure they don't. Despite this, Risk Runner is still really great to use with Peacekeepers. It might actually be the best SMG to pair with Peacekeepers for ad clear when you're able to take consistent arc damage. Let's say you're fighting Fallen, which have a lot of arc damage sources, then Risk Runner should be your go-to with Peacekeepers. Being able to infinitely fire with Arc Conductor active means if you're constantly getting damage on enemies, you'll be able to have that 2 times damage buff active for a good amount of time. The fourth exotic SMG is Huckleberry. Huckleberry got buffed with Revenant and it now has Kinetic Tremors as its catalyst. The first thing I did was test to see if Kinetic Tremors helped towards the Peacekeeper damage buff and long story short, it doesn't. It seems that with all these SMGs, only the actual bullets builds towards the Peacekeeper buff. The base headshot damage here is 1900. With Rampage times 3 active, you get 3149. If you combine Rampage times 3 with Peacekeepers, the max damage you can get
get at 20 sacks is 62.97. This damage number is actually the highest damage number out of all the SMGs. Huckleberry for me is definitely the most fun exotic SMG to use with Peacekeepers. I think it might be the best one overall for ad clear. You're almost always going to have a 3.31 damage multiplier if you're just slaying out because it relies on kills. Add on top of that kinetic tremors and this thing is just going to shred through enemies. Our last exotic SMG to test is Osteostriga. Once again, I tested to see if the poison ticks built towards and gained the bonus damage from peacekeepers. And I'm 99% sure the answer is no. Base headshot is 2353. Max damage with PK is 47.05. The one good thing about this SMG is that it can overflow the magazine if you kill enemies with the poison. Now, I would say Osteo feels the weakest out of all the SMGs when paired with Peacekeepers, but that doesn't even mean it's bad. You're still gonna frequently get up to two times the normal damage with Peacekeepers. It's just that the other SMGs seem to take advantage of the Peacekeepers perk better than Osteo. So how would I categorize every exotic SMG with Peacekeepers? Teraba is the best for consistent and easy single target damage. You can build up Ravenous Beast very easily and keep it going for a long time if you have consistent damage. Teraba is also just really good for ad clear with its high damage. I would say Manticore is the best hybrid combo. It can reach the highest maximum damage multiplier with Peacekeepers at four times its base if you're using the Catalyst. That high damage plus auto reloading by shooting from the air makes it equally great for both single target damage and for mowing through adds. Risk Runner is the best for ad clear if you're fighting enemies that deal arc damage. Arc Conductor makes it so that you can fire without reloading for five seconds, meaning you can get off many shots with that max two times damage buff from Peacekeepers. Huckleberry is the best SMG for overall ad clear. Rampage times 3 plus auto loading on kills means you can easily keep up a 3.31 damage buff if you're constantly dealing damage to enemies. And the newly added kinetic tremors makes it even better for shooting at beefier targets. And then we have Osteos Trigger, and it's not a bad option at all. I would just say it's a fun option to try out with Peacekeepers. If you like a slower playstyle, Osteo might be the SMG for you. Osteo doesn't really do anything that much better than the other SMGs with Peacekeepers, but it's certainly not bad just because of the raw strength of the new Peacekeepers. And those are all the exotic SMGs tested with Peacekeepers. Are Peacekeepers better than pre-nerf Lucky Pants? I can't answer that question right now. I think we would need more testing, uh, but I would love to hear what you think in the comments. Now, I do have a little bonus for those of you who watched to the end. I tried out a couple of legendary SMGs, and honestly, I was having more fun with those than some of the exotics. If you run two legendary SMGs, or even one exotic and one legendary, you can unload one magazine, switch to the other SMG, unload that magazine, and the other one will be fully reloaded thanks to the intrinsic auto-loading holster from Peacekeepers. I tried this out with Dragon's Breath on the dungeon boss, and it was actually pretty good damage. Since you can literally keep on firing the SMGs, just keep on switching back and forth, you will always have that times two damage buff for both SMGs while you're in your damage rotation. Now, will it be meta for damage? Probably not, but we'll see. And that officially concludes my testing of the new Peacekeepers. This exotic is definitely one that'll get me to take off Syntheseps, even in GM content down the line. Thank you all so much for watching. Thank you for getting us to 3K subscribers. Be kind to each other always and have a good day.